I covered the benefits of mirroring in the introduction video. It's a great way to just replicate data in a transactional database or ERP into Fabric without needing to have pipelines or incremental refresh policies and data flows. Any inserts, updates or deletions in the database are just automatically reflected in your Lakehouse and Fabric. I think this will be the way that we connect to any transactional database in the future, as it just makes it so much easier. There has been support added for additional data sources for mirroring recently, and at Fabcon, they announced support for connecting to an Azure SQL database behind a private endpoint. You create a VNet data gateway within Fabric that allows you to connect into the subnet, and when you create a mirroring connection, you choose to connect via this gateway. There is also an announcement that Oracle is now supported as a source for mirroring. Let's have a look at the demo to see how easy it is. The tile for mirroring for Oracle show up here as well. So I go ahead and click on it, and immediately I can either select an existing source connection or a, or a new one. So I'll go ahead and select a new one, and directly here you'll see that so the source for selecting an on-premises data gateway. So I'll select my on-premises gateway, and I'll proceed. So right over here, by automatically, all my tables are replicated in my Oracle database, but I can go ahead and filter, select a few tables. So in this case, I'll go ahead and filter, select five tables I want to bring in, and part of my product sales, and I can see a preview of it on the right-hand side. And after giving my data session to new table a name, that's basically it. The replication process begins with just a few simple clicks, just like how our other sources are replicated over to. And that's it. You yeah, basically that's it. You don't need to create any ETL pipeline. You do that, nope. and the data just gets ingested, and then you can use it anywhere. Exactly. So in a few seconds, you'll see that all my tables have been replicated over. I can see the rows that have been replicating, the, day, the time that has been modified as well. And on top of that, if I'm really, really curious, I want to look at my data and see what's happening, I can go to my SQL Analytics endpoint and query it directly over here too. But in this case, I'm just making sure I verify that all my tables have landed, and I can see that my customer's one has landed over here as well. But now, of course, Amir, we have change data that is happening. There's inserts, there's updates, there's deletes. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to my Oracle database, insert five rows to my table, and I'll verify that, that those rows have been replicated over. So now if I go back to Fabric, I can go to that monitor view, or I can go to my SQL Analytics endpoint. And in this case, I'm just going to query the rows, right? The customer's table had about 103 rows, and I added five more, so it should return 108. And in this case, it automatically did. And this was all in near real time. It's really real time. You don't have to do anything. No scheduling, no ETL package. It's just okay. your Oracle data is automatically mirrored into one lake. Yeah. Uh, this is quite incredible. Thank you so much, Irene. <laughs> Thank you so much, Amir. Thank you, everyone. And there you go. You can see how easy mirroring is to set up. And it's great that Oracle, which is one of the main ERPs used by many companies, is now supported.